Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Scorpios who are watching. So if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Scorpio, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Alright Scorpio, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. First, what I'm going to do is pull some of my specific channel messages for you all, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, can we please receive a few messages from my Scorpios, please? What energy do we have making its way towards Scorpio when it comes to love? And who's this person that Scorpio is dealing with? Who's this person that Scorpio is dealing with, please? And how do they truly feel towards Scorpio? What are their true feelings and emotions? And what do they want to express to Scorpio? Let's receive one more card, please. All right, Scorpio. So we have some cards to begin with. Before I do show them and start your reading, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I describe from your person, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. Please only take what resonates out of this reading, Scorpio. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this first card. I feel like you are my reflection. Loving you is so easy. If it's not 100%, I don't want it. I've never believed in a love like this. You're an earth angel. My life wouldn't be the same without you. And I'm smitten about you. Okay, Scorpio, so I feel like you may be feeling the same way. I'm going to describe it from this person's energy first. It's like you're their perfect match or when they're with you, Scorpio, or just knowing you, they felt at ease. They felt like they were meant to be where they're at with you, like this was destined to be, Scorpio. I feel like when it comes to your values, morals, what's important to you, this person shares those same those same values morals and everything like like-minded people or individuals two like-minded individuals coming together and it just aligns so if this is someone you already know i feel like you feel like things are going great it could be someone <laughs> new that is coming towards you Scorpio but it's also that feeling like when something something or someone enters your life it makes sense like you're not stressing things are moving moving how they're supposed to they're flowing like it's not stressing you out it's not making you feel like you have to try to be someone you're not because it's someone that you're aligned with that understands you so, yeah, Scorpio, I feel like the both of you are intentional about what you have going on between you two, like, not playing any games, taking this seriously. So let's get started. I feel like you are my reflection. Could be a shared energy between you two, but it's like, it makes it, it makes the feeling even better, like, when you are with someone, when you know someone, and you, you can relate to them, but you also see yourself in that person as far as them being like-minded having that same mindset and also could be having gone through certain experiences that you won't know or yeah you won't know until you're actually in it and this person it's like they relate to you they it's easy to form a bond and a connection with them 
and also the things that maybe you two have expressed to one another that you want to work on or things that have bothered you whether they be insecurities or whatever it is it's like this person knows and they understand where you're coming from because they've been through that themselves and it also like it's just some it, it's a excuse me it's such a comforting feeling because when you're with someone whether it be someone romantically or just a friend or a family member like when they could give you advice or even just talk to you about things that you're feeling because they've gone through certain exact situations like that themselves it it makes you feel more like you're you're with your soul tribe or your fam like your soul family so yeah a very unique special connection that you two have going on here we have loving you is so easy the energy between you two and i feel like love should be easy of course there's ups and downs there's difficulties that sometimes make the love stronger but love should be fun so i feel like that's what you two have going on here I've never believed in a love like this. The power of this connection, Scorpio, I feel like this is an overall energy. Just that divine partnership and things coming to you in divine timing. And sometimes we get frustrated or impatient or we question like, when will this happen to me? And sometimes we're waiting on it because what is meant for us is making its way but it's not just any random thing it's very specific for you we have them smitten about you i feel like you give this person butterflies they give you butterflies just wanting to be surrounded by one another but also taking your time with this person but looking forward um to this person being in your life you're an earth angel. My life wouldn't be the same without you. How this person feels about you, Scorpio, you could definitely feel that feel this way as well. But just like your best friend as well, like someone who could be your best friend and your partner. And I like to think that that's even better. It's amazing because when you're with a best friend, they love you for you. Like no string. Like, of course, emotions are there um, platonically, but it's like just a person wanting to be in your life because of who you are not because of what can come with it or what you will do for them Scorpio and we have if it's not 100% I don't want it I feel like this is a shared energy between you two taking things seriously um, doing what you can to better this connection not slacking off not treating this like you don't care because you two do care all right, let's pull some more specific messages and we'll get into some situations, oracle cards. What else do we need to know here for my Scorpios? All right, we'll take that card as well. Can we please receive two more messages? One more, please. All right, so we have our last few cards. We have, if you like it, then I love it. No one has ever prompted me to change. I've never wanted, or I never wanted this to feel like we're against each other. I did a reading for Aquarius before your reading Scorpio, so, and they have the same card, so maybe Aquarius is a relevant sign. And we also have, it's all fun and games until I'm unavailable. So, I'll get into these cards, but I feel like this might be what you're expecting from this connection, Scorpio. So let's start with, I never wanted this to feel like we're against each other. This is not why you're in this connection. And you may have learned from past relationships or connections, like once, once things get to a certain point where you two are acting or, yeah, like, when things are like it's against one another that's maybe when not always but the love is lost or it shouldn't be like this loving you is so easy we have this message like this is what you're trying to avoid here and i feel like this person wants to understand you scorpio and they're not trying to be i don't know if the word is like your opposition or they're not trying to be your enemy for sure. They want to come together with you. We have it's all fun and games until I'm unavailable. Of course, these cards can resonate personally 
how they do for you but I feel like another reason or another energy that you're trying to avoid here don't waste my time if it's not 100% then I don't want it because I've been there I've done that I've stuck it through with other people and it, it and it didn't get me where I wanted to be for myself and with that person so I'm not falling for that we have no one has ever prompted me to change I feel like this is this person's energy towards you Scorpio um, as far as what they see in you and what they see in this connection and just wanting to be the best person to you and also Scorpio the energy that I'm explaining it could still resonate but maybe this is a person no one has ever prompted me to change them coming back because first time around they weren't giving their 100% effort and they never wanted it to be like that so take it how it resonates for you and then we have if you like it then I love it I feel like this person wants to be your main number one supporter not your well yeah your main supporter Scorpio but they definitely believe in you and see so much in you all right we're gonna pull some situations or oval cards these could resonate personally for you or they could fall in line with the energy we have let's see what we have going on for Scorpio please all right let's see what this card says receipts proof show me so actions efforts um between you two like show me that you want this just through your consistency we'll pull three more specific cards please for scorpio okay two cards came out i'm gonna take this one I'll read this as an extra message. Synchronicities, signs 1111222333. So, angel numbers or just synchronicities all together, they may give you some sense of confirmation. Let's please receive one more card. Okay, Scorpio. So, yeah, of course, like I said, these can resonate personally how they do for you. We have receipts, proof, show me. We also have children young childhood playful we have threatened embarrassed appearances and love affair dirty little secret down low so i'm gonna say scorpio and i'll get into these cards individually um this these cards can all be what you're trying to avoid maybe they happened in the past and like I said, you've been there, you've done that. Your time is so much more valuable than that. You're not trying to have something childish. We have this children card. But playing those games, going back and forth, and someone putting up a front or having a certain persona about this connection and this energy, you want it to be real. So we have threatened, embarrassed appearances. Don't wear a mask with me. Like, show your true colors. And maybe, unfortunately, for some of my Scorpios, the energy... I described was someone you were getting to know, but then they were hiding behind a mask. We have love affair, dirty little secret down low. This could literally resonate for you, Scorpio. Um, but at the same time, I feel like the authenticity that you're going for here, there shouldn't be any of this involved. And once again, receipts, proof, show me. Like, show me that your love is real through consistency and your actions don't wear a mask. All right. So, and also with this children card, maybe they just feel, make you feel like the sun card in tarot, just joyful, playful, like loving you is so easy. So, yeah. But let's see what sign you might be dealing with, Scorpio. We have Gemini. Let's get another sign, please. Leo. One more sign, please, for Scorpio. Aries so Aries Leo Scorp or Aries Leo Gemini but Scorpio I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always I appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you next time bye